Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we are in Texas. And uh, we have an F-16C Fighting Falcon here from Hobby Master, of course, in the 172 Air Power series. And it is one celebrating the 75th anniversary of the 457th Fighter Squadron. Now, that was a squadron that was originally formed in 1944 as a long-range fighter unit, flying P-51 Mustangs, of course. And it was deactivated after World War II. It was uh, briefly reactivated again during the 50s, uh, but was inactivated in 1959 once again, unfortunately. But it was reactivated in 1979 and it does remain currently active flying uh, F-16 since 1990 like this one right here and uh, but it will convert to the uh, F-35As in 2024 now this uh, F-16 is in a special uh, library to uh, honour the 75th anniversary which was in 2019 uh, and so it was painted in a uh, special Lone Star scheme as uh, the unit is based in Texas and I reckon this looks freaking awesome we will take that special slip cover that it does have off and uh, reveal the normal Hobby Master box underneath there. It actually does have a uh, <laughs> interesting colours on that. That's no, that is not red. That looks like a brown. No wonder they put a slip cover on there. And we'll open that up. Wow, look at that. That looks awesome. Texas. Everything's bigger and better in Texas. That looks great. And it does have some info in the flap as per usual, but this looks absolutely awesome. Um, I can't wait to get this open. And why should we? Let's get this open now and have a look at this uh, Texas F-16. Okay, with the blister packet out of the box, it does come with a set. I'm on a roll. It comes with a set of instructions, or maybe Hobby Master just including instructions now. I don't know. <laughs> but it does have sort of, it's one sided, but it is reasonably sized. And it does have, uh, you know, some decent instructions. It is generic because this one's got Israeli markings. So if you don't have instructions, pause. That's it. We'll move that out of the way, and we'll have a little look at this brand new F-16. I bought this brand new off a uh, eBay, a uh, hobby shop's eBay store. So <laughs> sometimes you can get them cheaper on eBay from their eBay stores than you can actually get them from their online shops. So we will try and pop this Lone Star Falcon out, which we can. Oh, yeah. I, I got it for $140, so um, from Frontline Hobbies, and uh, it does have the usual uh, stuff in there, stand, and a little bit of ordnance that we will uh, whack on. But I want to have a look at this Falcon thing right now. <laughs> this looks, oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Man. Texas. Who doesn't love a bit of Texas? They got the, you know, big chunks of meat in Texas. Oh, to be honest, you know, I've never even eaten a tomahawk st steak. Who can afford one of those here? <laughs> they are so expensive. But uh, I'll look at this thing. It looks absolutely awesome. Check out those tail markings. That looks great. It's got all the little um, aircraft that the unit has flown on the back of the tail there. In really tiny. I'll try and show you that detail. That looks great. It's got some awesome lines. We've done a lot of Dragon uh, F-16s, but, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how these Hobby Master ones compare. And it does look really nice. It already has the pitted tube and everything fitted on there, so you don't have to do anything in regards to that. Let's turn it around. I'll actually try and uh, open this cockpit up a little bit. Try and uh, let you see inside there. It does have a little bit of detail, if you can sort of see past my fat ass finger here. But this does look great. The blue, white and red, that looks fantastic. <laughs> this would look awesome in the sky. Uh, you're lucky enough to actually see this uh, for real, of course. That looks great. It's got some you know, reasonable detail around the engine and everything like that. Try and see inside there. It does. Yep. Cool. Let's uh, flip this over and have a little look underneath. And there we have the big Lone Star flag again. That looks <laughs> that looks great. Yep. Love it. But uh, I reckon we should uh, kit this out and uh, come back and have a little look at it all set up. All right. Here we have the F-16 all set up for in flight. It does come with these set of missiles, but... Uh, you can't put them on. <laughs> um, it's flat here. There's no way to uh, chuck them on at all. Uh, so there is uh, no way of putting the ordnance on this aircraft. Uh, on the picture of the box, it doesn't have any ordnance on the wingtips or anything like that. And uh, so I'm assuming these go in your spares box. So um, you do have some spare missiles. 
But if I am wrong, feel free to drop a uh, comment in uh, you know the comments below and uh, let me know where they are supposed to go because I, even on the instructions it does not show. So, but it is a straightforward setup. You just drop a gear bay door in there, and of course there's that little module in there that you just drop in for the rear gears. And of course there's a little uh, plug there for the whole lead for if you plan on using the stand at all. It just comes in three pieces that you put together, and you can uh, you know pop that back out and use the stand. And I think uh, this does look really nice. For my Texas viewers, here you go. That is for you, and I reckon, uh, I reckon it does uh, look fantastic. That is, of course, uh, if I do have any Texas viewers, that was for you. <laughs> but I reckon uh, this does look great. Beautiful. Another fine example from Hobby Master, of course. But uh, yeah, no, I reckon this is a very, very nice looking example. But it is a not wheels down, and that's how I want to look at it as well. So what we'll do is we will uh, kit this with some landing gear and come right back. And here we have it with gear down. Straightforward. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, Hobby Master, it is really easy to do. That comes with a front landing gear module that just drops straight in. It's complete. Same with the rear. That's a complete module. Drops straight in. Those two pieces, and that's gear down. Takes you like five seconds. Even a Muppet like me can do it without breaking a sweat. And I reckon it sets up beautifully. And of course, it's going to look great on the shelf. This color scheme is going to jump out for sure. That looks, <laughs> that looks absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. And of course, if you uh, have your aircraft gear down, you can't use the stand at all because it does fail on that rear landing gear. But well, we'll put this little Falcon down on the deck here. Wow, it is tiny. It has you know a little Falcon? They are little little birds. We'll zoom in a fraction for you. And there we go. We'll wind this video up. All right. So once again, this is the F-16C Fighting Falcon um, celebrating the 75th anniversary of the 457th Fighter Squadron uh, from 2019. And I think this is quite a nice looking livery on the aircraft for sure. And a, a great build. Uh, Hobby Master build it is a beautiful build. No complications whatsoever. I mean, didn't have a heap of ordnance to put on, but like uh, just this landing gear. Five seconds done, and you're ready to uh, chuck it on wherever you want to chuck it. All right, guys, I will take some happy snaps of this, of course, and chuck them on at the conclusion of the video. Uh, if you like this as much as me, hey, give us a thumbs up if you can spare the time to do that little press of the button. And uh, if you get to subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And I reckon definitely this is one to uh, grab, if you're, especially if you're uh, a Texas fan, and uh, I reckon this does come up really beautiful. All right, guys, thank you very much for uh, spending your valuable time, as per usual, watching another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed the content today. All right, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.